So you're an introvert and you want to learn a foreign language. But of course, it's extremely challenging for you because you feel uncomfortable and shy when talking to new people. And talking to new people in a different language sounds absolutely unattainable. The first technique that I recommend you try is shadowing. This technique involves listening to a native speaker and then repeating what they say. As an introvert, you might find it less intimidating than holding an actual conversation. You can use podcasts, audiobooks, or movies or videos with subtitles to be able to do that. First, you select your audio material. For example, let's say you're watching a YouTube video by a native speaker. Make sure there are subtitles because that's important. The second step is you listen actively. You pay close attention to their pronunciation, intonation, and rhythm. And also, of course, make sure you understand everything. From my experience, to be able to shadow as successfully as possible, I really need to understand all the information and be confident that I know every single word. Then you repeat immediately. As you listen, repeat what you hear out loud in real time. Try to mimic the speaker's exact pronunciation. Imagine you're an actor or an actress and play the role. As an introvert myself, I find it easy to do if I'm alone. Obviously, if I'm alone in my apartment, I'm like, okay, time to shadow, I'm fine. Of course, I don't want to do it in front of other people because, you know, introvert stuff. Basically, try to speak in sync with the audio. And next, you can try using headphones. I have recently realized that when I use headphones, I'm like more focused. <laughs> I'm shadowing and I can hear everything, every single sound, and I am definitely more focused on the speaker's intonation, their rhythm, and their pronunciation. I believe that nowadays many people think that being an introvert is a disadvantage, especially when you're learning foreign languages. But I personally believe that introverts have a huge advantage. I have watched a few videos on YouTube on this topic, and there are many people who say that Usually, introverts store all this energy inside their bodies. Instead of just bragging to other people about their successful success, they do it. They do it quietly and they achieve great results. If you're an introvert, you're quiet, you're more likely to just sit down and learn the language. Instead of just walking around and telling everyone how much you want to learn Chinese or how difficult it is for you to learn Korean. There are so many people in the world who just talk about all the things they want to do without following through. And there are doers, people who actually do the difficult things. Of course, I'm not saying that extroverts cannot be doers, they cannot be successful and actually do things. No, that's not the point. The point is, is to share with you that being an introvert is not a disadvantage. You can definitely leverage your qualities and learn a foreign language this way. If you love listening to podcasts to improve your English, I highly recommend checking out my podcast, the Bridging Borders podcast. I think it's the first time when I'm actually talking about my podcast here on my YouTube channel and I'm very excited for you to give it a listen. I host the podcast with Sam. He's a native English speaker from Great Britain. He has a beautiful British accent and I think our conversations are very interesting. We talk about lots of different things and our podcast is perfect if you're intermediate and higher, especially if you're advanced like or upper intermediate if you want to get to this advanced level, if you want to listen to different accents. I'm a non-native speaker. I try to speak with the American accent and Sam is a native speaker. So you will definitely hear the difference in our English, the way I speak and the way he does. That's how it all changed for me. There is a quote, uh, I think it's by Dostoevsky. And I think he said, I could be wrong on both accounts here, that money is coined freedom. So if you want to check it out, the link will be down in the description. The next thing you can do is record yourself. When you record your voice while speaking the language, first of all, this lets you analyze your pronunciation and maybe even see your mistakes. And plus, you get to have this huge library of your progress because oftentimes we feel like we're not making any progress. And since I started my YouTube channel, I can tell you guys that I'm definitely making progress in English because my very first videos were very different and my English was very different back then. But at the same time, if you're naturally not a very big talker in your native language, 
Don't try to talk a lot in a foreign language unless you want to, of course. The goal of learning a foreign language is being able to communicate your thoughts in a clear and effective way. And if you're used to doing it in just a few words in your native language, it's fine. You don't need to become an extrovert in a foreign language. And if your goal is to just learn more about the culture and not really communicate much, then it's fine too. I know lots of people who are just like, oh, I'm learning this language because I want to watch movies in this language, or I'm learning this language because my favorite TV show is originally in this language. And they have no interest in actually communicating to real people in this language. Try to always stay true to yourself and your goals. Now let's talk about written communication. If you are an introvert like me, it's probably a lot more comfortable for you to express your thoughts on paper. That's why I journal a lot. Because sometimes when I actually have to communicate what I'm feeling, what I'm experiencing, it's hard for me. It's easier to do all of this on paper first, to analyze all of this, and then actually communicate my thoughts in a clear way. Likely for you right now, there are so many different apps and resources where you can text people, like message people. You don't actually need to, you know, hop on a call with them if you feel a little bit shy and uncomfortable at first. You can also practice journaling in your target language. And on my YouTube channel, I have a video about how I journal to improve my language skills. So you can check it out right now as well. I know that in this video, I talk a lot about staying true to yourself. And yes, it's absolutely correct. However, what I also noticed, especially among introverts, is that we like to wait. We often say, oh, I'm not ready yet to speak. I like to wait, I wanna wait. Give me a year and then I'm only gonna start speaking. Here, it's important to remember that are you using this as an excuse or are you actually not comfortable yet to speak the language? If you're using this as an excuse, then waiting is a waste of time. At the end of the day, if you wanna improve your speaking skills, if you wanna to communicate to real people, to native speakers, you need to put yourself out there and talk to people. And finally, let's talk about solo travel. If you have an opportunity, you can try going to the country where your target language is spoken and just be there. As an introvert, I have realized that it's a lot easier for me to travel by myself especially when I have to speak the language because then I don't feel the pressure. Like maybe other people are expecting me to know everything. Probably a lot of you guys are gonna resonate with what I'm about to say. When we were kids, our parents would always say, oh, say something in English or, oh, we're gonna go on vacation. So you're gonna talk to all the people there in English, right? You're studying English in school. And as a kid, you're like, yeah but I'm only 10. <laughs> yes, I'm learning English in school, but you know, all I can say is, my name is Veronica, that's it. When I moved to Mexico originally, I really did not wanna learn Spanish because I was so stressed out, I had other things going on. But then at one point I realized that I have to, like if I wanna live here, I have to speak the language. And that like really motivated me to start. And it still does, like this idea of Oh, like I'm a guest here, like I'm not from this country and people are not supposed to speak English to me here. Most people here speak Spanish and if I want to understand the culture of this country, I have to learn Spanish. That's it for this video. Remember, if you are an introvert, you can also learn the language and you can start speaking the language. It's possible and I'm a great example of that. Don't forget to check out my podcast, The Bridge and Borders. The link will be down in the description and in the pinned comment. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.